I've just turned the radio on. We're on 432. This is in the morning now. So set the power to 5 watts. We've got the SX1000 just sitting on a cloth. It doesn't scratch the roof. And there is the dummy load. Quite a sizable dummy load sitting on the cup of the balance. And we're using the SX1000 for power. And it's set at 5 watts. So 5 watts. And if I transmit, there we go. We've got 5 watts. And we have something here, and we'll de-key. So now if we go to the next band, 20 watts. This is all in real time. Still on 5 watts on the radio. And we've got nothing instantly. I'm transmitting. You can see the red light. All I've done is change. And it's dead. I haven't changed the power settings. Uh, yesterday when I did this, I managed to get up to 30 watts by increments. Changing the, uh, the power setting up. In increments of 5 watts but now I've just tried it I'll move that back to 5 watts on here and transmit again now we've got 5 watts okay that's interesting so that's 5 watts again we'll de-key we'll just move up to 20 watts on here and we've got 5 watts and we have 5 watts on here so now it's working again you can see the intermittency of this oh and we've lost it again if I key up again it's gone and that was, I don't know, you count it, 5 seconds, 10 seconds. Not what I would call a long over. So we'll leave it a few seconds. This is all very new because normally it lasts longer than this. Well, I say normally, it's <clears throat> variable all the time. Um, but I was expecting to be able to get up higher. But this is the sort of overs. There we go, now we're back to 5 watts again. I'll de-key this time very quickly. And we'll see if we can get to 10 watts. Move to 10 watts. Yes, we've now got 10 watts, and 10 watts is measured. We can see 10 watts on both, so I'm going to now up the power again. We're now on 15 watts. You can see measured by the radio, and yes, we've now got 15 watts measured on the meter. This is more what I was expecting. Now to 20 watts, and again, we're right over on the meter, so that's 20 watts out, and it's showing here, which is good. Now we'll move the meter up to 200 watts. We'll stay at 20 on here, just to prove it's working, and there we go. Oh, and it's just dropped off. And you might have seen that just dropped off in stages. And that was just with about uh, I don't know, two seconds worth of transmission. <clears throat> I'll try again at 20 watts and see if anything happens. Nothing. Dead as a door now. And go back to the 5 watts. Give it a few seconds. I'm not cutting anything, so I want you to seal this in real time. Five watts, nothing. Zero. Move that back down to five watts. Not that that should make any difference at all. Still five watts. Transmission, nothing. Zero. So therein lies my problem. A, it's intermittent. You've seen it work to five watts and then stop, and then you've just seen it go to, what was it, 20 watts, I think. Um, the other day I managed to get it up to I think 30 watts, <clears throat> same sort of thing happened. Um, it worked fine when I first had it um, for uh, one competition and I wasn't calling, I was just working people so it was just brief QSOs on SSB. Um, this doesn't make any difference by the way if I change to SSB. So the reason I was obviously demonstrating in FM is just to just to show you that it was uh, with a constant output, there was nothing. So I'll just go back there so we know where we are on 200. And I thought I'd put it on there for this because it's calling frequency, obviously. That's why I'm liable to use it. I have changed bands up higher, still nothing, I'm just trying there. Uh, up into the uh, repeater sections, and that doesn't make any difference, it all does the same. So there's the uh, the diagnosis for you.